Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to make a report page as an answer when we query via the Q&A option in Power BI. So let's start and I'll show you what I mean. I've got this report here with me and it shows the sales amount <clears throat> by different uh, slicers. And let's say I want this report to be available to me when I query uh, this in the Q&A. So how do I make that available? So what I need to do is let's just edit this report and I need to add a filter which I already have. So I'll click on this drop down and I'll just need to say require single selection. So I may need to enable this. So this is step one. You need to enable this and then you go to the formatting tab for the report and under page information you enable Q&A and then you can call uh, let's say sales by product so a uh, step one what we've done is we've uh, set this filter requires single selection and step two we've enabled q and a and then we've given it a name so i'll just save this now and once this has been saved i will go back to my workspace go to my dashboard configure dashboard and i will go to the q and a section and i'll say sales by product category for bikes say and you can see it's giving me the that page is now available otherwise let's say sales by product category it gives us something else sales let's say sales by so how we type it, it gives us different visuals, but it doesn't let us use that report page. But if we've got a report page and we want to make sure that report page becomes visible to people when they are doing Q and A, you need to do these. So first is one. Uh, so let's go back to the report and we'll just recap. So what you need to do is you need to go to the report. And then you need to, uh, for the filter, you need to make sure that uh, this option is checked require single selection and then on the format tab and the page information you need to enable Q&A and then you can call it something else as well and you know once you've sort of set it up you can probably give it multiple uh, names and access it using those and then you can go back to your dashboard and access the Q&A option so in this video we've learned how to make a report page available via the Q&A I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Do let me know if you've got any further questions around this. Cheers. Bye.